All right, Kenzie, here's one of your round stubby slalom last Friday. Let's check it out. talk about our course but i'd say you had some sweet turns in there too all right let's check it out a little slower here you know the pitch is a little st a little steep but um did a good job it's understandable up here that we're going to skip a little top of the turn but the more that you can come through and carve that top the better what you want to do is is intersect rise the line. Now rise line is that imaginary line drawn straight up the hill from the gate. We want to try to intersect rise line with our skis pointing still out and away from the pole so we can bring turn shape back and finish right on the gate with direction done. All right, so you come in here and you get into rise line, your skis are already kind of pointing down the hill. So I mean, you could imagine if you were actually going to carve from there, what would you do? You'd, you know, you'd straddle or be on the inside of the gate. So, you know, kind of skidding down here and, you know, skidding sometimes, you know, we skid kind of low. So now we're off the gate a little bit. Prefer to be, if we could, just right up on top of it. Um, so it cuts you a little bit on, on a lower line here. Didn't have a whole lot of time. Had to kind of chuck them sideways. Get back online. I almost hooked that tip. Good save there, but again, you can see all the spray, and that just means skidding and, and, and you know, slow. Well, we got back in gear now, coming onto the flat, a nice looking turn there, and that's the kind of, you know, line and turn shape we like to see. Bring a little turn shape back and finishing the, our turn right on the gate. With direction done now you know your legs are a little close together we're working on that in your free in your free skiing and we need to incorporate incorporate that into a, a race of course but um feet a little close together and legs a little close together and you know you can kind of see just a little bit on our heels right so let's make sure we're in the front of the boot driving down the hill nice looking turn there that's that's what we like that's great Nice space between the feet, all right? Knees, um, square, square upper body. We've got good upper and lower body separation, right? we got level shoulders, right? That upper and lower body separation. That's a great job, Kenzie. Really like that one. Pole plant, again, trying to stay square down the hill with upper and lower body separation. Perfect. Again, legs got a little together up here at the top of the turn and again you i think you can kind of see just a little bit on your heels right so coming in here again feet got kind of close together um you know i don't know if you're looking ahead you brought a lot of turn shape here so, you know, your skis are pointing way over there when we probably could have been more down here. So all of a sudden, you know, there wasn't much offset from, um, you know, the blue gate to the to the top of the hairpin. So you could have run a little straighter down the hill. So now all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, I'm way over here. I got to I got to get over there. And you kind of leaned in and now we're we're way wide on the top of that and which made us wide throughout. Um, hairpins, the most important thing is, is the exit. And we need to be tight on those second two, right? Right up in here, tight on those with nice direction done, heading off to where we want to turn again. But granted, you were, you're late and low coming out because of up above here, so. We got back on track again, you know, we just said you were late and low, which meant you, you know, didn't have a, you're, you're hitting this without direction done and you're turning below, but, but still, you didn't panic. You kept the skis running down the hill, which is a good job. 
I'd like to see elbows in front of the body a little bit more, but. So now we're coming in, flat area, good looking turn there. Turn shape back to the pole, finishing on the gate with direction done. Great job. Pretty good there. Just started running a little bit straight. I don't know if you saw, like, you know, I'm coming to the finish line. I'm gonna try to, like, you know, run it straight in here, but because you ran it straight, you're hitting this gate, passing the gate with no direction done. You're just gonna start running this low line. The under gate could have helped you, but it still kind of was late and low, and now we're just really behind the course all the way down. So let's make sure we stay ahead of the course, even though we, we're coming towards the finish. Doesn't mean we can just run them straight. Depends on the offset, depends on, you know, a lot of things like that. But all in all, a great job. Let's just remember to intersect rise line with our skis pointing out and away from the pole. Maybe it'll widen that stance, uh, you know, a touch at times. Make sure we're looking ahead and getting to the front of the boot. But great job, Kenzie.